in Bola Tinubu's administration. This demonstration sparked by growing economic hardship marks the beginning of a planned 10-day protest. The protest organized by various activists and groups began at 6 a.m. with participants singing solidarity song and carrying plant cards. Despite the early hours, the stadium was surrounded by substantial presence of every armed security operatives. The high level of security is in response to a court order that confined the protest to the stadium premises to ensure public order. Some protesters explained the demonstration on the score mounting frustration among people struggling with inflation, unemployment and other economic challenges. The hardship is way too much. People are going through a lot and just are suffering every day. So we are just asking the government to help Nigerians fix the country for us. Lack of um, education forced me to be here because I'm not educated. I'm just a secondary. I finished, I finished secondary school since 2019. I'm still on ground. There's no job. There's nothing to do that I can further my education. That is why I'm here. Commissioner of Police for the Federal Capital Territory, CP Bennett Igwe, insists the protesters are held to a court order requiring them to stay within the stadium ground. The convener of the concerned Nigerian barrister Deji Adinyoju, however, explained protesters are not breaking any court order as they are within the national stadium. We have a court judgment on subs, uh, court ruling, court order on substituted service, which the barrister, barrister Deji Adinyoju is leading them, is aware of. The substituted service said that the order is that they should protest inside the stadium. And we requested that each group that we, that we protest has to come to the police and notify the police. No group has notified the police. Are we not in the national stadium? We are yeah. there. The court order is in the national stadium. They have refused to allow us to go to Igu Square. We say we will not confront no, them. What the police? But protesters called me as early as 5 a.m. this morning and said they are going to stop the, the Igu Square. And I advised them that they should not go there. Meanwhile, a group of protesters staged a counter-protest at the same venue, chanting no to protest. We are here to say no to protest in Nigeria. Because once we protest in Nigeria, it will scatter everything. Instead of, instead of protest, let's start with our president, which is a father. He's a father and he's ready to listen to our cry. And he's a father of youth and he loves the youth. So we, the youth, we are here to say we, we, the youth, we will not come out for protest. It is the day one of the 10 days planned protest and a good number of security operators are seen to ensure the protesters are law-abiding. Fumilola Adeyemi, ADBN News.